The one that stands out for me is Chad Muma to the Jaguars. Did they pick a guy who's going to be off the field for most of the downs? Or is this a hint that they might use Devin Lloyd in a little bit different situation? Because they paid Olakun to come from Atlanta to be one of their linebackers. You trade it up to get Devin Lloyd to be another linebacker, and now you draft another one. You don't play three linebackers uh, in the National Football League anymore. 70% of the time, you're in your nickel. So I don't understand this pick. You're saying a little too early to go for depth when you're Jacksonville and that's your roster. Yeah, I don't, I don't, look, they're building something where you need players on the field. And he might start as the strong side linebacker, but he's coming off the field, the nickel maybe, and the dime. Maybe they use Devin Lloyd in an Isaiah Simmons type role or something? Or as an edge rusher. Think so? Put him, put him on his hand on the ground in some pass rush situations. So I, I just think it's weird pick for the Jacksonville Jaguars. All right, those are your selections, 70 to 74. But what do you think of Ritter being the number two quarterback off the board, and what do you think about him going to Atlanta? Well, he was my number two quarterback, and I think this is a great situation for him like Brady talked about. You go there behind Marcus Mariota and probably play five games, then you take over as a starting quarterback, but you don't have to rush him. And that's the good thing. He can sit and learn. He probably needs to do a little of that. But he's athletic, much like Mariota. He can move. He's much more athletic than people give him credit for. He ran better than people give him credit for. Uh, he was my second quarterback. Great situation for him to be in in Atlanta.